All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for real this time with the American Dota League. It is the last game of the night. It is Evil Geniuses versus Typical Mistakes and a pretty star-studded matchup here. Uh, for those of you that are just joining us tonight, we have had Insight versus Evil Geniuses. Just a moment ago, Evil Geniuses took that in one of the most convincing fashions that you could probably take a game of Dota. Beat is, is the current drafter for EG, as you can see here, and Fear played the carry role on that Faceless Void in the previous game. But I gotta say... Beta's carrying with uh, the Lich was pretty impressive going, according to him, 8-0-8. Eight, oh, eight. So, uh, nice feats coming out from EG. Uh, Demon playing really well as uh, well on top of that, of course, in the previous game. Insight, they drop another one. They, of course, have not won a game in the ADL, unfortunately, and uh, losing uh, with a forfeit matchup against uh, Pain International earlier this evening is uh, something that's not going to help them as well. EG, on the other hand, they're completely undefeated. Uh, I believe they are 11 and 0 or something along those lines. Typical mistakes. They're something like 10 and 4. They've got a good record. They've played a few more games, but they are a strong team nonetheless. They're right up there. I believe they're considered first, considering of course they do have the most wins. This goes by wins, by not by point systems or anything like that, because everyone's going to play the a same amount of games in the end, uh, right before those playoffs. So once again, thank you for joining me. My name is Mont. I apologize for subjecting you to such cruel music before, but. Uh, we are moving on here, as you can see, into the draft. The Treant Protector, the Bat Rider, as well as the Io and the Gyrocopter coming out for the bands. Nyx Assassin for typical mistakes. Dirks here and Jakiro, just like the previous draft, and it worked really, really well for them. I gotta say, I wasn't... Uh, and this is anything against Bambo, but I, I just didn't seem convinced by Bambo's play on that Jakiro in the previous game. He had a couple of nice ice paths, but I think he, in terms of support, I don't know if that's really where he feels the most comfortable. Uh, I mean, we saw Jo I think, kind of playing that offlane role. It was a weird situation because they had a dual lane mid up against an Outworld Devourer. So the situation might change again. We'll see if Bambo plays the, I believe it was four... This time, I guess it was considered five, considering Beatus was getting a lot of kills as well as just going for plenty of items, and in the end, Jakiro was the one warding. But Lone Druid is going to go for Typical Mistakes, a hero that Cakes plays pretty actively. For those of you that don't know Typical Mistakes, they're probably one of the best, if not the best, uh, unsponsored team in America. Uh, I'm not including KP because I don't think they're really considered American. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're, they're really one of the best out there in terms of just pure skill level. Uh, Sleazel, of course, Goody playing on the side of Gratz, though, which is a, a team that was uh, notable for really just dominating the North American amateur scene up until they disbanded. Also had RTZ in it, by the way. Uh, it sounds like my mic is having some issues here. Hopefully it uh, it is fixed. Good to go. Uh, cast would not be complete without the microphone having issues. So, well, what are you going to do? Uh, looking at the bands right now, the Life Stealer coming out, as well as the Naga Siren, which uh, been banned a lot recently. The Visage going for Evil Geniuses. This is pretty much a carbon copy of the draft for Evil Geniuses from the past game. The Faceless Void for Typical Mistakes, a smart band, but Evil Geniuses has a lot of their you know heroes in their wheelhouse, including the Juggernaut, which I don't know if it's going to be played as their primary carry. They like to put up something else with that Juggernaut from time to time, but it certainly can be used that way. Just You kind of lose a little bit of your moment of the game when it goes later, especially against a lone druid. So, um, I mean, Typical Mistakes... From time to time, they've been known to go for some aggressive strategies. Right now, they're going to pick that Lone Druid. It'll be a little bit laid back. They're not going to push as hard here. Another winner on a pickup this time going for Typical Mistakes last game. It was for Evil Geniuses, so I'm surprised that they decided to pick that up. I'm, I'm not 100% sure why. Rubik's going to get picked here for Evil Geniuses, only adding to, I guess, the array of uh, disables they can get onto Typical Mistakes. And, of course, you could throw that, uh, you could throw that any hero technically into the Ice Path. But uh, an Outworld Devourer pickup for Typical Mistakes, and they don't pick it up in the first two because it wasn't banned. And this is the smart move here. There's no Lich ready for this. Uh, and they can also ban it out. Typical Mistakes have the time here to ban out that Outworld Devourer. But you can go for uh, an Enigma, which Fear can play pretty well. But at the same time, he's probably going to be carrying. So we'll see what Evil Geniuses want to do here. This is going to be an interesting segment to ban. There are, I, I think that's going to be it for carries for typical mistakes. They probably need another support. Winrunner is not going to be that support, I think. Um, yeah, Close Talker knows about my mic, so I apologize for it not working for like 30 seconds, but it happens from time to time. So, bands are going to come out. Reserve time is being used. Beat is taking the time to think about this draft, and this Outworld Devourer is going to be tough. He's also going to think about what he wants to send up mid. 
And really, there's not many favorable matchups. I think, if anything, at most you're going to get is a wash. But that, I mean, you're playing with probably Demon in that mid lane, so uh, there's a good chance that he can outplay Ryu in the mid lane on that Outworld Devour if Ryu plays it. Sometimes Goody likes to play the Outworld Devour, but we'll have to wait and see what the laning assignments are going to be before we make distinctions like that. Alright guys, so it is the last game of the night. I believe it's roughly about 9 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. Not really daylight anymore. It's nice and dark out here in upstate New York. My room's close to 100 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, wouldn't be complete without a Dota cast, so welcome you to the American Dota League. For those of you that are just joining us, the last game of the night between Typical Mistakes and Evil Geniuses. Typical mistakes, this would be a huge win for them and would really cement them a position in the playoffs and give them a better seed as well if they can pick up a win here. Um, this might be one of the last games they have, actually, and I do want to check that while I've got some time. They have this game, which is... I think this might be it for them. Yep, this is going to be Typical Mistakes' last game before the playoffs. Everything else is uh, with other teams. I'm pretty sure every other team plays except for typical mistakes after this point. So, with that being said, the Phantom Lancer is going to get banned here. Um, I think that's just a smart ban. They don't want to have to deal with that split pushing capability from that hero. And with the Lone Druid as well, uh, that would be annoying. So, Beat is, does the smart thing and gets rid of that annoying carry. Templar Assassin getting banned out from... EG or for EG, they can't pick that up. I think Demon would do very well against the Outworld uh, Devourer if he was uh, playing that Templar Assassin. But it still remains to be seen where they're going to lane everybody, and I'm pretty sure Fear is still going to be that carry, um, which does put Bambo kind of on that four roll, unless they want to switch things further. And he didn't look 100% comfortable, but you know he's I think maybe shaking off the rust a little bit in that first game up against Insight. And it's going to be the Spectre pickup. So that's a big pickup that Haunt allows them to get into fights anywhere. It's really one of the hardest carries in the game. And uh, I think it's going to do well against a lot of these heroes, especially the squishier heroes. I mean, OD doesn't have a generally big health pool. Windrunner doesn't either in the next Assassin. And Lone Druid does when he's in his true form. So if you go for something like an early Radiance, if you can get the farm for it, and this is Fear we're talking about, if he's getting free farm, especially in like a, you know, a defensive tri lane, he'll be in a position where he can get a very early Radiance, haunt into fights, his illusions are going to do some damage, eventually go for that Diffusal Blade if you want to. Now this last pickup is going to be something of interest here. What are they going to go for with their support, unless they want to use that Windrunner as a support hero? Uh, I'm not sure if they do. I'm not sure if it's going to be a tri lane with the Windrunner next Assassin and another hero and give that farm to the Windrunner. That's something that can happen as well. Uh, and if you give that farm to the Windrunner, then generally you're probably going to want to go for more damage, something like an Orc of Malevolence early on. And I'm just throwing out theories right now. What it comes down to is what they want to pick up, what they're comfortable with, with this 1 minute and 20 seconds left. They do like running the Jakiro as well as the next Assassin, but the Jakiro's already picked up for EG, so they can't do that. Can't pick up the Rubik. Shadow Demon is available, but I don't know if that's going to be what they want in that lane. Uh, there's a lot of squishy heroes there. Something like a, a Sven support might be nice too. Just get that AoE stun going. But it's a, kind of a support that you don't see a whole lot of. It's just something that you kind of pull out of your hat. I think it's one of those wild card pickups. Which EG I think is more known to do. But they're going to go for the Weaver. So it is going to be, I guess, the two supports being the Windrunner and the Nyx Assassin. And then they're just going to have pure damage coming out from the Weaver, the Lone Druid, and the Outworld Devourer. But that is going to be the lineup, ladies and gentlemen. It is the last game of the night. Evil Geniuses versus Typical Mistakes once again here on the American Dota League. Check it out at Twitter.com slash American Dota, American Dota League.com, and Twitch.tv slash American Dota League. Thank you for joining us here in game and, of course, in chat. Chat, how are you doing? Big shout out to you guys. Going to throw it over to this cool little screen before we enter the game and once again I am Mont this is going to be the last game of the night of course this is a best of one all games are best of one up until the playoffs just waiting on evil geniuses it looks like uh, Beatus is going to be up on the Jakiro they might switch that around though uh, I think Bambo's up on the Rubik right now so they might feel more comfortable with him on the Rubik but I think he would be the 5 in that scenario then uh, but we are still waiting on Beatus and with that being said, we will hop ourselves into this game. The last game of the night. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Chat, give us your predictions. 
And we'll get in some introductions here as well. For EG on the Dire side, Demon on the Darkseer once more, Bambo on the Rubik. We'll have Fear on the Spectre back to his old carry roll. Beat is on the Jakiro. It looks like they uh, do want to go for that. J.O. on the Juggernaut. So that's going to round up the lineup for EG. Looks like they're actually sending J.O. mid right now. Certainly interesting. Did not expect to see that matchup, and I kind of kind of forgot about that a little bit with that Spectre pickup as well. It's like, who are they going to send mid? Oh, yeah, they have J.O. on the Juggernaut. Meanwhile, down in that bottom jungle on the Radiant side, Sheep sucks. He's going to be the next assassin. Goody, also known as Fan of Soyan, will be on the Windrunner. Slazel will be on the Weaver. Back to a carry roll. Kix is going to be on the Lone Druid. And Ryu on the Outworld Devourer. Five-man aggression coming out, making sure there's nobody coming down here to ward or anything like that. They're not going to go ahead and do that. Demon, of course, sitting smartly with plenty of regen. Six tangos, which he bought himself. Uh, pooled tango from Bambo. Salve, Clarity as well. Stout shield on him. J.O. in the mid lane. He's going to go for Blade Fury first with a really, really cool set. I forget what that set's called, but it's something that I want desperately. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Goody, of course, he's got sentry wards on him right now. So they are going to be playing that support role, but it looks like they're doing an aggressive tri lane heading up top. And this could potentially work wonders for typical mistakes up against the tri lane with a pretty inexperienced Bambo on a Rubik. Uh, Bambo is a great player, and I think I've seen him play Rubik before, and he's done it to great extent. But this is something he hasn't played in quite a while in a pro game, especially, I mean, typical mistakes isn't the, you know, the most pro team out there, but they're certainly a good one. I mean, they've gotten their fair share of victories as well. So Bambo taking a lot of damage here already from the double damage shackle shot. Not going to launch, but that impale is going to go Bambo. He's going to get first blood up. Yes, Goody's going to get it. Goody gets a surprise first blood easily with double damage. Bambo out of position. Just not playing his game. And uh, yeah, so that already going in the side of typical mistakes. However, it's very early on. And yes, it is a big mistake. He will have to walk back to lane. But this is something that uh, should be okay. I think EG can recover from. But still, nicely done coming out from the side of Goody there. Ryu, of course, taking Blade Fury early on. Astral Imprisonment going to go, though. So they're going to trade, I guess, mana for health here. Ryu's going to go ahead and salve back up. Having to use that salve, really a little frustrating. Demon already looking like he wants to pull this. Uh, Cakes, of course, is going to use his bear to try to stop this and maybe do as much damage to Demon as possible. But Demon's going to get essentially free farm down here, like he did in the previous game against that Nature's Prophet. Up in the top lane, Pole is going for Beatiz and Bambo. Bambo still level 1 right now. Goody hitting up to level 2 very soon. Sheep Sucks is level 2 right now. So these are also very close to 2. Shikuchi skilled up for level 1 for that Weaver, unsurprisingly. This is going to give Fear some time to CS right now. He's sitting at 3, so pretty even so far in this lane. OD sitting at 4 right now, chasing after uh, what seems to be uh, an Astral Imprisonment on J.O. So he has no mana to Blade Fury. Uh, that's an important note. Ryu's actually dominating this lane pretty uh, aggressively here. You can see he's on that high ground right now. And another Astral Imprisonment so that he can't get close and last hit. So Ryu playing this Outworld Devourer like it's supposed to be played. Not very surprising there. That bear uh, being recreated as it is a level 2 bear now. So Cakes is going to be able to get farm as well though. But the big deal is that we saw last game what Demon could do with essential free farm. Just pulling those creeps, taking an early tower. Getting level 11 by like 10 minutes. And a uh, mech on top of the Shiva's Guard on that. So... J.O. is going to go ahead and Blade Fury. That's going to help him last hit. Ryu taking a little bit of damage here. J.O. is going to do some right click and he's actually going to miss there. The Astral Imprisonment coming again. Boots done for Ryu right now. Doesn't have a whole lot of regen. He's got three tangos looking for that haste rune and realizing that he can't grab it. J.O. is going to have to bottle crow. Uh, up in the top lane right now. Spectre only sitting at five. Yes, Weaver sitting at eight. So this lane not going their way. The aggressive trial lane picking off that first kill early on. They did pull, but right now the, uh, of course, wave is back at the tower. There is a dire sentry reward here, so it looks like they're just banking sure there's no uh, observer wards or other wards coming out for typical mistakes to block that camp. Demon very low down in the bottom lane, but Cakes is not going to send his bear on him. He wants to just focus on last hitting, and that's the smart thing to do because that bear does not have entangling claws yet. You'd have to get very lucky with the first entangle. Okay, so... Bambo now sitting at level 2. He'll probably skill into Fable. I mean, he has, he, he pretty much has to. It's what Rubik is. You gotta. You gotta. Ryu now, level 4. He's got 2 into Essence, 2 into Astral. J.O. sitting with pretty much no mana as that Astral Imprisonment. It's going on cooldown. He can use it again if necessary, but right now taking damage from the creeps here. Fear, just trying to get some CS. He's only sitting at 8 right now. 14 for Sleazel, and Sleazel is actually one of the relatively unknown weavers out there. I think he's a very good weaver. I've seen it before. Back when I used to cast Sex and when Grass Though used to be a thing, they used to have Sleazel up on that weaver all the time. And this is something I really look forward to. And Goody kind of on that support role is very interesting, but also cool to see at the same time. Demon looks like he's heading back to his tower just to get some regen and actually pull the wave back there. So not a whole lot going on so far. Uh, we did see that first blood early, but it's just kind of a farm game here for both teams. And leading the way is 27 last hits for Demon, but then... You know, you've got this conglomeration of typical mistakes 
uh, team members with you know 17, 18, and 23 last hits respectively. And this top lane now, not accomplishing a whole lot just yet, but they can get another kill. I mean, they're accomplishing Fear not getting farm, and the right click onto Fear from Sleazel. And Weaver does a decent amount of right click just with his Geminate attack alone. And Shikuchi, you factor that in, it's just more damage. Another Astral Imprisonment going for Ryu. He's not 6 yet, he doesn't have Sanity's Eclipse, but Jo has literally 1 point of mana, and 52 total mana. So Jo is, he's having a rough time, he's gotta use that bottle consistently. Meanwhile, top lane, Sleazel's gonna pick up that kill on the Rubik. Now Sheep taking a lot of damage here. Sheep still can't get out, that Spectral Dagger, Goody trying to body, body block, not gonna work. Fear picking up that kill. And so a 1 for 1 trade in the top lane, Sleazel grabbing one, Fear grabbing the other. So, even trade there, uh, nothing really lost. Uh, of course, Goody going down probably gives a little bit of farm. Poor Man's Shield up for that Spectre, by the way. That's going to give him level 5, whereas the Weaver's only level 3. So there is this experience difference going for EG right now, which is the good thing in this tri lane. They are, I think, not winning it in terms of CS, but they're winning it in terms of the experience battle. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Blade Fury going under Ryu. Jo doesn't have his uh, Omni Slash yet. He's not 6. Once again, Ryu also not 6. Down in that bottom lane, Cakes is almost 6 himself. He's got 1,700 gold. Not sure what he wants to pick up with his first item. Walking back is going to be Sheep. Actually, Goody didn't go down. It was the uh, Nyx Assassin, I believe, going down as he is walking back right now. Or might have been very low. I'm not sure. I can't really remember. That's how poor my memory is right now. All right. Back in the middle lane. Another Blade Fury going. And there, this could be a uh, Sandy's Eclipse right here. Where you could just try to go for the kill. Looking for right click. There's the Sandy's Eclipse. Is the right click going to be enough? No, he's got to back off. That would be a tower dive. And that's going to be a regen popped coming out from Jo. Jo does not have his Omni Slash yet. But he's looking for level 6. And if he gets level 6, he potentially could kill Ryu easily. And he's he wants to die for this. Ryu gets way behind that tier 1 tower. Realizing that's coming. And that's a nice move coming out from Ryu. He's just like, that is an Omni Slash. That's level 6. That's something I don't want to deal with. Uh, down in the bottom lane, again, 43-44 CS for Demon now. Very close to his mech, actually. Uh, that is a very brave courier. That Midas is done. Looking for Entangling Claws is the bear. Demon can surge away. He actually wants to just keep... Uh, there's that uh, nice Entangling Claws going. The surge going a little bit early from Demon. He should be able to get away. It's level 2, so he's doing all right. Ryu TP's back into the lane right now. Looking for an Astral Imprisonment. And not going to be able to get one. Up in that top lane, Sleazel now sitting at 27 last hits. Fear is at 16, so... Fear not getting the free farm that he wants. And this is tough because for a, uh, a Spectre, you really need that farm to get those items. And it's just not happening for him right now. So typical mistakes, playing very well. They are a little bit behind in experience, I believe. I mean, you look at the levels here. The supports are also behind, but Sleeves at level 4 is not what you want, whereas Fear is at level 6 and he can haunt into a fight at any time. Uh, looking to be aggressive, Goody and Sheep want to take over this pull right now. They're doing a good job of it, just trying to counteract in CS, essentially. No ganks coming just yet. And might come from Jo. Uh, looks like he's bottling up right now, and he wants to go for an Omni Slash here. Uh, he will have enough mana once this Intelligence Seal goes away, but he's actually only got enough mana for an Omni Slash as it is. So, they're just going to go ahead and keep doing that Geminate attack onto Fear. And another pull coming in from Demon. Going to use that Soul Ring, and he just keeps getting CS like there's no tomorrow. But with this Midas, Cakes is going to be just fine. Midas is on the bear, by the way, in that mid lane. Jay was doing an okay job of catching back up against this OD. I mean, this is a very tough matchup for him, too. I guess any matchup against the Outworld Devourer, so... Yeah. Yeah. Beatus with those wards. Just being beat us, throwing wards down, warding, etc. Demon. Buckler's done. Next, gonna be coming soon, I'd have to imagine. Jo is bottle crowing with phase boots done. No, his bottle's not gonna go back to the uh, base. That bottle crow changes. Kind of facilitate just fighting over the runes, and especially when there's an outworld devourer with no bottle. No, nope. there's the blade fury going under Ryu. He's got to be careful. There's not a whole lot of creeps here. Omni slash could come on, but uh, there is that astral imprisonment still, that debuff still lingering, so that doesn't give him enough mana to omni slash right now. Buckler's done for the outworld devourer himself, so that that means that of course he's going for the mech. Demon's heading back home. That uh, mech is done for him, and he might TP and look for a gank and just try to make this top lane a little bit a uh, little bit better for fear, alleviate a little bit of the pressure as well. Or you can go back bottom. But now again, coming on to Goody, it looks like Bambo looking for a uh, lift here. Not going to happen. But here comes Ryu looking for an Astral Imprisonment. Going to throw the ward up as well. He's got Sanity's Eclipse. Rubik was thinking about maybe going in and helping him out. But that's not going to happen. But with that Sanity's uh, Eclipse available, with the Astral Imprisonment, you're really not ever in danger of taking an Omni Slash. Jo is going to go ahead and use that Blade Fury. So that's on cooldown now. Uh, Jo taking more damage. But Ryu really can't use that uh, Sanity's Eclipse just yet, I don't think. He might here. But that's still going to be a... a pretty big dive and he's not going to look for it. He needs that orb attack and he's not going to have it for at least another two levels. Down in the bottom lane, Demon 
continue to farm so he doesn't go top, doesn't try to alleviate any pressure here. Fear, though, is getting some nice experience. He is level 7 compared to Sleezel's 5, so there is that going for them right now. But Sleezel's going to come in, maybe look for a kill on Beatus, or just trying to steal the farm, as you can see, just taking these two creeps. Goody's going to go ahead and TP down bottom right now, as there is a dive going on a demon. They need to get a shackle shot. That's not going to latch. He's got Surge in 6 seconds, but that bear, not going to be able to catch up in time. And another Iron Shell is going to go. So Demon is just going to be able to just sit down here and be fine as there's two other approaching EG members here. They're looking for this gank. They might jump right on Goody. Goody is going to absolutely get Omni Slash maybe. There's going to be the Spectre Haunt. They want to fight this and it's going to go right on top of Cakes. Now the TP rotation is coming in from Typical Mistakes. The Blade Fury. Cakes in some trouble. The Vacuum will secure the kill. TP coming in. Nyx Assassin. Bad TP. Oh, but now here comes the World Devourer as well. Two down coming out from the side of Typical Mistakes. They want to clean this up. The Power Shot missing. Now can they go on J.O. here? They have Sandy's Eclipse. They're not using it though and this fight absolutely going EG's way and there's nothing they can do down here but this does give chance for Sleasel to get some tower damage in up at the top lane and some experience solo so a very nice gank coming out from EG using that haunt effectively Fear's gonna get Astral in prison but he can escape just fine Demon and Bambo just making sure that nothing else is happening here with JL also roaming around with that Omni Slash still available by the way now they're looking to go on one of these heroes Ryu's gonna wrap around maybe look for an Astral imprisonment on a Bambo there it's gonna go Demon also looking for maybe uh, initiation Ryu's gonna get Omni Slash right there there's the Sandy's Eclipse Mecha's not gonna go he doesn't have it there the Blade Fury as well Telkinesis is in the wrong direction Ryu's still getting chased he's gonna go down JL picking up the kill Cecil trying to get his sees a will he'll shoot shikuchi away and he might just make it a nice stun coming up from sheep on top of that they need a shackle shot here goody oh you had the perfect line the perfect line goody oh he's gonna win run instead right now the impale could go the mana burn instead sleazel's back to full as he salved up demon he's gonna get of course impaled now they need more damage coming in shikuchi damage he can't chase that is just too fast from that surge. Sleasel's still going. He's just trying to ring around the Rosie Demon. He is going to make it out. It looks like the tower damage is not going to be enough. Mid lane. Cake's just trying to take this tower, but it looks like another defense coming out. That fortification is going to fly. And the end of the battle is upon us, it looks like, at least for the time being. But now wrapping around is Bambo as well as the Jug Illusions and Jug himself. And Cakes has got to be very careful right now. He's got to back way off here. In fact, he will do so. But J.O. has no Omni. He actually does have an Omni Slash. He just doesn't have mana for it. No, those are the illusions. Okay, so I'm just an idiot, apparently. That's fine. That's fine. All right, so Demon chasing after Sleezel. Sleezel has time lapse available. No mana, however. And he could Shikuchi away. We'll do so. And uh, you got to give credit for Demon for trying, but... I want to look at the graphs here. We haven't checked these out. 2,000 experience is going for EG. Gold is actually 1,000 in favor of typical mistakes, but that can be made up rather easily here just with some free farm time, which Fear is going to start to get up in the top lane. He's only got 25 CS, though, but he's provided a, at least a little bit of uh, team fight presence, and he's gotten a kill, which was early on, and two assists, so he's kind of made himself aware. You know, like, people on typical mistakes right now are just like, ah, that haunt is kind of dangerous. This bear just trying to chase after demon. Now there's a TP coming in from Beatus just to make sure that Demon survives down here and is able to get more CS. Demon with that mech done, by the way. First hit and tangle is not going to go. Regeneration. And Jo heading bottom right now. They pinged it out too. Goody's down here. Goody doesn't have a whole lot, by the way. Haunt's going to go. Ice Path as well. The root going on to Demon, but Vacuum Sheep taking a lot of damage. Nice and pale, but Spike, Par Spike Carapace saving his life. Mech's going to fly as well. Shackle Shot. Beat is picking up that kill. Beat is taking some damage. Astral Imprisonment's going to go. They want to take Beat is down. In fact, we'll do so. Wall's on the ground. Where's the Vacuum? Is it on cooldown? I don't... Yeah, it is. Absolutely. He's got no mana as well. And the root coming in too. Sleazel just trying to do enough damage there. Juggernaut's going to pick up the kill on the Windrunner. There goes the bear. The Astral Imprisonment. Not, not the best timing coming out from Ryu there. Sleazel wants this kill. We'll be able to get it if he gets another Shikuchi off. Yes, the Soul Ring came out, but I think that actually kind of just killed him there, and they will deny that bottom tier one tower. In the end, a two for one trade, maybe a two for two trade at really the end of the day, but I think uh, it's still about even. I mean, they did get a little bit of gold out of that fight for EG. And denied. they used that Omni Slash as well to pick up the kill. I'm not sure on who it was. It was on Goody. That's who they used it on. Okay. Who is back up top, by the way, and he's still not level 6 yet. Not that it really matters. You don't really go for your focus fire at 6 anyway, so. Alright. Looking to chase after Bambo here. He's going to steal a spell, of course. It is going to be that wind run, so he's got that increased movement a little bit. They're not going to go and try to chase him as there was that creep wave there. Phase boots are done for Cakes right now. Cakes is starting to get a little scary with that hand of Midas. He can start getting a lot of big items soon. But, well... 
you could say typical mistakes have been making some erroneous decisions in this game. It's just been something they've done. I mean, just the TPs coming in down to that bottom lane during those fights, especially when that haunt was available. Not maybe the best decisions coming out for them. Ryu with the Astral Imprisonment. He does have the one point of the Arcane Orb, but he was looking for a lot more than that at this point of the game, I think. The mech's done too, which is nice, but... TP's coming into the mid lane right now. They wanted to go on Demon, but he can just surge himself away. But the nice Astral Imprisonment from Ryu, and, and they want to try to take this, but Jo's here. He doesn't have his Omni Slash, so no fight going to come out from typical mistakes where they could have fought. Because there are two heroes up top, but Fear could have haunted at any time. He has enough mana to do so. So th that's also one of the things you have to keep in the back of the mind, so... Now, typical mistakes. They want to go for this tier 1 tower. They have the pressure. The bear can do some damage here with those phase boots. And will do so. They'll take the tower. Ryu's going to grab that extra gold there. Gloves of Haste. He's going to have his treads done finally at 14 minutes. But, of course, he did go for the mech first. So, you got to give him credit where credit's due. Demon and the opposing team jungle looking for a safe place to farm. And I guess this is it. They don't have any wards in the river here. Anything like that. Arcane boots done for two people on the side. One on the side of EG. One on the side of typical mistakes. Down in the bottom lane. Fear going to continue to farm. Phase drum done for him. Poor man shield as well. He's starting to get to a point where he's getting formidable. But Sleezel's got 63 CS of his own. He's got power treads as well as drum of endurance. So ring of a kill. There shouldn't be too much difference there in terms of CS right now. In terms of net worth as well. In fact, he's only leading by about 400. They're going to find each other out. Demon will uh, not get spotted. Actually, he's just going to TP away. And Ryu's going to take that fight. Meanwhile, top lane. Vacuum. Haunt's going to go. They're going to chase after Cakes. There's the ice path as well. Cakes is in some real trouble right now. He's going to get rooted up. Demon will be. Vendetta, they have that sentry ward on the ground, and Sheep is absolutely dead. Nice power shot's gonna go through, but it's not gonna be enough. Sleezel's backing off. Ice Path gonna connect to Ryu. Ryu's gonna take an Omni Slash. Ryu's gonna go down. Nice shackle, but it doesn't matter. Already three dead on the side of typical mistakes. Sleezel has time lapse available. He might need to use it right now. He will Shikuchi away. Maybe thinking about going again. There's only two of them here. He, he, he can't really do a whole lot. That power shot even really doesn't do anything with that healing ward, which they cannot take down. If they get close, they're gonna die. They will take the tier one tower. Fear grabbing that kill, getting the extra gold, and a very nice fight coming out from EG. That's 5,000 experience, and that swings the way. 1,500 gold as well, uh, which was going for typical mistakes up until that point. And the Gem of True Sight now done for Betas. That'll be really nice for Sleazel, and Sleazel's going to be like, damn it. Now I thought we were going to go this entire game without a gem, but no, no. EG's not going to make that mistake. So once again, Sleazel, not necessarily Sleazel, but... Uh, just typical mistakes and Cakes getting caught out of position. But we've seen Cakes get caught out of position many times before and able to rebound because of just his pure farming ability with that lone druid. He does have 82 last hits. He's the closest in comparison to Demon right now. They're going to get Sleezla out of there, Shikuchiing away. All right. So, chat, I hope you're enjoying the game. As I sweat in my 95 degree room. Just watching Dota like it should be. Living the dream. Living the dream is Bambo as he's got Vendetta. Oh my god. What a spell. Bambo Dota. EG Fear. He's looking for farm. And right now he's he's got Haunt in three seconds. Root. Demon. He's in some trouble. Vendetta. Ice Path's gonna go. Where's the wall? Oh, huge wall. A lot of damage. Demon obliterating sheep now. Haunt goes in. Fear's in the fight right now. Cakes, too much damage. Nice Sanity's Eclipse, but the wind run going for Bambo. Ryu can't do any damage to me. He avoids the Ice Path. He wants that kill. Demon grabs a triple kill. Using his Iron Shell. Using his right clicks. And another big fight. Bambo does go down in the end. Now Goody trying to win run away. The ice path will fly. Not going to hit the TP. Oh, the vacuum from Demon. Oh, and another kill. But this one going to beat is. And that's four down in that fight, I believe. Going for EG. And Sleezel in the bottom lane. He's going to Shikuchi away. The Omni Slash. Oh, J.O. picks up a nice kill. He had time lapse available. But J.O. says, no, sir, you're not using that. I'm just going to kill you. He went the wrong way, I think, also. I, that Omni Slash, I guess it was kind of a catch-22. You go in this direction, you're probably going to get Omni Slash. In fact, you did. You go in this direction, probably going to get Blade Fury and die. So there's two choices there, both of them wrong. Sleazel goes down, and it's starting to really look good for EG as they, wow, in the past five minutes alone, they've gained about 5,000 experience, giving them a 10,000 experience lead. 
They've also gained 3,000 gold, which is not quite as significant because Fear had such a bad time. But he is going to be going for that real quick Manta style without Ultimate Orb. I guess not quick, but, uh, you know, he's actually going to be able to get it up soon. Uh, he's got that Band of Elven skin on him now, so the Manta style is going to be done shortly. Shortly as in a relative term. And down in that bottom lane, Sleazel, he's going to look for farm of his own, but he's going to run into Bambo. That menacing Rubik. With his weird mask. Vendetta. They want to kill Bambo right now. He doesn't have anything stolen, so Shikuchi's going to fly. He really shouldn't give up that Shikuchi. He's got to be careful of that. There's going to be the Veda and Pale as well. Bambo going to go down. Sleaze is going to grab that kill. So Bambo playing too aggressively. Story of his life. He will feed that kill to Sleazel. And he says, nom, nom, nom. Thank you very much. And that's going to get him to 1,400 gold in the bank. And he's not really building to anything at this point. Top lane right now. Weaver's going to go ahead and pause. Ryu is in some trouble as Fear is chasing after him here. Uh, but he's got Astral in about 10 seconds. Sleazel will go ahead and disconnect here. And I'm going to take some time to uh, say hi. So, hello. Is it me you're looking for? And it's raining out again in upstate New York. I don't even know the word Maat means in Indonesian language, death. I do know that. You know how I know that? People like you in stream chat telling me. All right. 12,000 experience, 4,000 gold items. Well, this is the big deal. Is this going to be another Shiva's Guard? Answer, I can't give to you yet, because Demon likes to go both. But I have to edge on the side of saying it's going to be a Shiva's Guard. I think Shiva's Guard may be the better choice here. Just the movement slow is really nice to have. And the attack speed and production is, is pretty great, especially up against a Weaver. But... Uh, Yeah, so we've got some time. Uh, looks like Cecil's just taking his time to reconnect to the game. Once again, make sure you follow the American Dota League here on the channel. If you're watching a game, check out twitch.tv slash American Dota League. And on Twitter, if you're one of those social media people, at American Dota would be really nice if you did that. We'd really appreciate it a whole lot if you did. And if you want to go ahead and give me a follow, my name is Mont, and I have the pleasure of casting this game for you. And it's been a lot of fun. So. Jay, of course, he's got that Yasha, and that should be into a... It could be just one of those casual Manta, or not Manta style. You don't go for a casual Manta style. You go for a casual Yasha. Casual Manta style is not a thing. He could go for a casual SNY. It's a little bit more casual than a casual Manta style. Um, and that's, like, some of you might scoff at that, but I think Manta style and Juggernaut is an okay item. It's not, like, you know, the worst thing ever. It's not like someone getting, like, a 30-minute Vanguard. It's not that bad. It's not like, oh, my God, did you believe that? He went Vanguard. It's like your typical, like, pub game. Someone's just, like, flaming you for your item decisions. I can't believe you went for that uh, that Manta style. I mean, we were losing every fight, and you decided to go for a Manta style. It's just like, well, yeah, I'm Gyrocopter. It's like, I mean, I could have went for like an MKB, I guess, or a Helm into a Satan, but you know, we needed some damage, so I guess I wanted to do Manta. So I mean, like, just like, oh god, you're such a noob. I'm just musing about my pub games. I think I'm starting to get heat deprivation or something like that. Um. All right, Sleazel still uh, disconnected. I know there are a couple Sleazel fanboys out there. I know of one in particular, but he should be back shortly. So fret not. Where is everyone else from EG? I mean, Fear's up here. All right, let's 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 try to figure out the I guess risk scenario that Ryu might be in. 10 seconds before we can Astral in prison again. Is there anybody else around? Yes, this person, who is probably, let's see, 
Bambo's dead. Beatus is not there. He's in. It's demon. Okay. All right. Well, by process of by process of elimination, we figured out that the person in astral imprisonment is in fact demon. So actually, Ryu's in quite a bit of trouble here, unless he can get some TPs from his friends here. This is actually about to run out. You can see that little red ring. That means obviously it's going to run out soon. So Sleazel will reconnect and then disconnect to the game promptly. Uh, just saying, haha, just kidding, not gonna happen. But, yeah. He's back on Skype, so there's that. That's good. That is a good thing. It's a very good thing. So I apologize for the delay. These things happen from time to time. What else are you going to do, though? Your Monday Night Dota action. Brought to you by ADL. For all you primetime viewers. So it looks like Ryu will get out. They will abandon the chase immediately. Which is surprising. But also not at the same time. So the net worth you can see, at least Cakes is actually relatively close, but now that Fear is actually past them, that's the problem there. I mean, that's where you're like, well, we were absolutely dominating him in CS just a little while ago, but he's right back in it with 74 and a bunch of kills and some tower kills as well. In fact, there's only tier, one tier one left, that's in the mid lane, so... Um, and they're going to go for that soon, too. I mean, you can see there's three heroes like in that general area converging, and I'm not sure why, whenever I draw on the minimap, it draws ridiculously. I don't know why that happens, but it does. So I apologize for that. Uh, Jo is in Viz. They do know this. I think they spotted that out. They have this Radiant Ward here. So, and another pause, this time coming out from Ryu. Because it wouldn't be an American Dota game if there weren't some issues going out. And it looks like Sleazel's computer is blowing up or something. I don't know. And... <laughs> EG is not amused. So, I don't, I mean, I don't blame them, but uh, these things happen from time to time. Um, he really needs to get something. Do I play Meepo? No. Do I always cast typical mistakes? Yes. No, not really. I, I mean, I do a lot, but I didn't cast their Arctic versus uh, typical mistakes Dota 2 Canada Cup game. I didn't cast that one. But John did, so I guess that kind of counts. And he'll, he's back. I want to check ping, though. All right, where are you at, Sleazel? Is that 146? A cool 146. In comparison, I think I'm actually the lowest person in this game right now at 101. No, Beatus is beating me by one, one millisecond of ping. That bastard. How dare he. Ryu's going to get dual breath. I don't know how... I, he thinks he's probably in a good position, but he's really not. He should back off and will. But uh, the power shot's going to go out. Spell stolen. Obviously power shot. Jo's blade fearing away. Looks like he maybe thought he was in some trouble. They realize that there's actually a lot of people here for typical mistakes. They don't really want to fight this. Or do they? I, I mean, I don't know. They've got wall. They've got mech. They've got gem. What else do you need here except for fear who can haunt in at a moment's notice? Literally... Assuming it's not on cooldown, which it's definitely not. You can see that little green thing up there means that he's got it available. Sleazel still in that bottom lane, just trying to pressure the tier 1 tower bottom. Looks like they want to go for a wraparound gank, but uh, not very discreetly. They just go through the trees and just say, hey, we're here. TP will come in from fear. He wants to try to maybe just do some damage to Sleazel. Sleazel's going to go for that right-click damage. There's the spectral dagger on Sleazel. Sleazel's going to go ahead and just say, I'm going to Shikuchi out of this. And uh, it, that tower will be denied by fear. Nicely done. Mid lane. Ice Path's going to go. Astral Imprisonment. Goody. Macro Pyre. Telekinesis. Goody. Fade Bolt. Goody. In some trouble. Haunt. Mech's going to fly. Omni Slash. Now Astral Imprisonment. Ryu's going to go down first. Jail picking up that kill. Fear another one. Ryu's going to buy back. TP coming back in. A double kill for Fear as they take down another hero, which of course was that Nyx Assassin. Astral Imprisonment again. Sleazel's finally here, ready to fight. But it, I don't know if they've got enough right now. Astral Imprisonment actually stolen from Bambo. Walls on the ground. Another nice vacuum. Triple kill for Fear. Jail grabs another one. Everybody's dead. Cakes is nowhere near this fight. Tier 1 Tower is going to go down. And, well, EG, once again, they take another fight, and that's about three or four fights in a row. In typical mistakes, they've got to be thinking, like, well, what do we do next here? And they got to get Cakes farmed, but it's not going to happen if 
uh, fortification. And now Jay, well, he actually doesn't have a whole lot except for a Blade Fear, but another TP gonna come in. They want this tower. Kix is gonna get it. No, it denied going out from Jay, and now he's in trouble. There's the Telekinesis, the Fate Bolt as well. Kix, Blade Fury. And I guess this is the point you would say at what cost, but Sheep as well down in the mid lane. Nice Shackle will not save his life. Fear is going to grab the tier 2 or at least close to it anyways. Yeah, he will bick it up and there's going to be a vacuum and Goody's going to have to wind run away. It's 7 to 21 and this is looking a lot like, except for the early starts of this game, EG definitely in command like they were against Insight. Not quite as dominant of a performance, but they're certainly in the driver's seat this time around. So... And, and this is what happens when you get a lot of farm on your Darkseer. You get a lot of gold on your Darkseer. He wins fights for you. On top of that, your mid lane, which should have been getting dominated by that OD, is just not really... jo has been very active. He's gotten a ton of kills. He's got 3,200 gold in the bank with a casual Yasha, potentially into a casual Sanjin Yasha, if he wants to go down that route. Uh, but, I mean, they were winning... I guess that top lane aggressively, theoretically, for typical mistakes, that aggressive try lane with Sleazel, with Goody on that Windrunner, and of course with, uh, who else was it? It was this guy, Sheep Sucks, but it's it's not going their way now, and, and Fear, who was having such a rough time early on in that game, ends up picking up a triple kill, his Manta is done, uh, Diffusal Blade was what uh, Jay was going for, was building towards, so it is a casual Yasha into that Diffusal Blade, so... Another interesting pickup going out for that side, but I guess you want to be able to chase and purge is a nice, uh, nice little thing to have. And Cakes is, he's died and like he's had maybe the worst luck I think out of all of them. Like he wanted that tower up in that top tier one, and you saw how desperately he wanted it, and it just wasn't worth it in the end. So. And now they're going to go for the second to last tier 2. There's another one top, which has got some damage taken, but Sleazel is going to go ahead and split push. I don't think they'll be able to defend this. They want to save their fortification for tier 3, generally what you want to do. And, I mean, they can't really fight here, and Sheep has got to get out. He's got a Vendetta, but they've got a jam, by the way. Shackle Shot not latching on Demon. Ice Path going to go. Blink forward from Bambo. Bambo maybe made a pretty erroneous decision there, but luckily that Astral Imprisonment saves his life, which I think was the opposite effect of what Ryu actually wanted. This does give time for Cakes and Sleazel to farm. Sleazel's going to try to do damage to this top tier too. It's not doing a whole lot. You can see Jay was TPing out right now. Demon's going to TP top. Sleazel's got to get out of there. We'll do so. Uh, that gem is up, by the way. Haunt's going to go. Sleazel's going to Shikuchi away. And uh, he should be safe for the time being, but they're actually chasing after Cakes mid again. Spectral Dagger, there's going to be the purge right now. Jo, he's got Omni Slash, he's not going to use it. Beat is, meanwhile, up in that top lane. No, dot bottom lane, excuse me, grabs a kill. Juggernaut picks up the kill on Cakes. Onage is going. Power Shot stolen by Bambo, and oh, Sheepy's going to go down because of it. Now three down on typical mistakes. Goody trying to survive the Blink forward, the Telekinesis, the Fade Bolt into the Ice Path, the Dual Breath. Textbook, double kill for Beatus. Sleazel, you shouldn't be here, buddy. He wants that kill on Beatus and might be able to get it, but once again, it's it's going to cost him. Uh, maybe. They don't actually have that gem down here. The gem, of course, is on Demon, I believe. There it is. So he's actually going to run right into Demon. And uh, there it goes. Uh, Sleazel is going to time lapse, and he might be able to escape just because of that time lapse. That was a very nice time lapse there, but still, his entire team went down. He was just trying to do something. Uh, to get something back out of that trade, and well, he's going to continue to farm. So, Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Yes. All right, net worth twelve thousand going for Fear, ten thousand for Jo, nine thousand for Demon, and nine thousand for Case for the next closest person. Sixteen, sixteen, fifteen, then fourteen for Sleazel. Experience graph twenty thousand, ten thousand in gold. So, I have to, I, I mean, I don't want to sound negative here and generally just try to play out until your well's gone, but I think if Typical Mistakes loses another team fight, they probably call GG, because uh, that's just going to be too much to come back from. It's like, once you lose a certain amount of team fights in a row, you realize you're in a, a little bit of a deficit that you can't come back from, even with the carries that they've got, uh, being Cakes, who's not particularly farmed with a Midas and a Phase Boots and Maelstrom even. Sleazel, who is looking for his first real item in that Manta style. And he's kind of close, but, you know, not really close enough in comparison to what Fear is going to be getting next, which is that Diffusal Blade, uh, which is actually flying out to him now, I'm pretty sure. There it is, so. And then whatever Jail wants to get next, which 
his 1300 gold uh, provides him at least something and now EG realizing that they need to keep their foot on the gas pedal they're gonna go for smoke not into Roche no but maybe down to the bottom lane and, and Cakes is oh uh, that's very 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 smart so he TPs immediately realizing that uh, yeah they're coming for you and Sleezel's in the mid lane they do have that gem of true sight and I, I, he doesn't see any of them on the map he's gonna use his Shikuchi already it looks like he went, no, he didn't go high ground, so there's the Surge, there's the Telekinesis, there's the Ice Path, there's the Omni Slash, dead. Jayo gonna pick up another kill. And so Sleasel's dead, um, and that was, you know, he probably had his Mantis style very soon. He was like 400 gold away from it, and that might have just put him out of there. Yeah. So now they're gonna go for Roche, and EG with an Aegis at a point where they're leading 26 to 8. They're really in a prime position to take this game, and it's just tough. I mean, Ryu hasn't gotten a whole lot done, and that's that's really something that you kind of don't expect when you go up against that Juggernaut in that mid lane. Like, you should have had... And, and I think part of the problem, too, was there wasn't a whole lot of roaming ganks coming out from either side, uh, as they really couldn't get out of there with that aggressive tri-lane. But had they maybe roamed with that Nyx Assassin, or even with the Windrunner, or both of them, they could have really gotten some kills. I mean, it's hard with Blade Fury, because you have that magic immunity. And you're pretty slippery as a juggernaut to begin with, so. But they could have done a little bit more, I think. And I, I guess I'm talking as if this game's over already, and I don't want to make it sound like it is. But at this point, there's got to be some sort of miracle here. I mean, all five of EG are setting up a, in a pretty good position. They're going to smoke up themselves. What could happen is Fear could potentially get caught out and go down here. But not before Cakes is telekinesis, purged, ice path, dual breath, and just about everything else you can think of. And that's a killing spree for Bambo. Top lane, they want to get something out of this, but Fear should be okay. Vendetta going, and Pale not going to hit. And that's as about as heartbreaking as it gets, probably. Like, that kill, and if it turns around as well on top of that, they're actually going to haunt and look for a kill on Ryu. No, they're going to haunt onto, of course, the TP going Sheep, and he's, Sheep is just taking too much damage. Fear just obliterated him. Goody is going to be next. Double kill for Fear. Now they were looking for Ryu, who's going to go ahead and just TP out. There's no way they can take that. The vacuum not going to hit in time. Nicely timed TP, but another three deaths going for typical mistakes. The graphs are going to just show how far this is getting out of hand. And now they're going to go for the last tier two on the map, the last outer tower, with an Aegis in tow, with their entire team at their back. With the winds in their sails. I don't even know what that really means in a Dota turn, but whatever. With Juggernaut grabbing a Mantis style. Or just go for a tier three. Or keep the lanes pushed in, I don't know. And Bambo with a four staff now. And uh, and I talked about how Bambo looked really, I guess, uncomfortable on that Shakiro in the previous game against Insight. But boy, does he look comfortable on that Rubik. I mean, like, he's gotten a lot of kills, a lot of picks. Astral Imprisonment going under Ryu right now. And Jayo wants to go ahead and Omni Slash this, you can tell. There it goes. Ryu's actually pretty tanky right now. Sheep taking a lot of that damage. Jayo going a little too deep there. Now they'll focus on the tier 3 as well. Demon's gonna surge out. He has that Shiva's guard, by the way. Nice vacuum ice path. That wall's gonna go. Sleezel's taking a lot of damage. Sleezel go down, goes down immediately. And, uh... Nice and pale, heading on to Astral Imprisonment as well on top of that. But Ryu's gonna get purged. Ice path, he's gonna go down. Two down right now for typical mistakes. Tier 3 is gonna go. And that is GAG. And once again, they just win by just dominance. By sheer overwhelming, you know factor of play and that's three deaths and EG is going to take tonight they'll stay undefeated the real test comes tomorrow when they have to face off against Team Liquid for the first time in this tournament but EG for now stays undefeated and typical mistakes with their last game in the group stage will they have enough to make it to the playoffs is the question uh, they're sitting pretty I think they might have already clinched at this point as well but that's something you have to check Wikipedia up for as well as the American Dota League they should have updated standings as well but that is it for us tonight, guys. I am done here. The ADL, thanks you for joining us. Of course, follow us on twitch.tv slash American Dota League, twitch, uh, or twitter.com slash American Dota, and American Dota League.com. Make sure you purchase up a ticket if you like the cast, if you like my casting. Uh, I know I didn't have a co-caster tonight. Something I want to rectify uh, by as early as tomorrow, probably Wednesday. Um, let me go over the schedule for tomorrow. Let's see here. So, the 25th, which is the Tuesday, 
the 25th, we have at 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Team Liquid versus Evil Geniuses, followed by Team Liquid versus Team Dignitas, followed by Evil Geniuses versus Insight, followed by Dignitas versus Insight, followed by Dignitas versus Insight. So, a lot of games for Dignitas tomorrow night. Four games in a row for them. Actually, no, three. No, there's one game, then they have a break as EG is taking out Insight. So, uh, but Insight has two in a row. Dignitas has three games and a two in a row at the end, uh, both against Insight. Um, but that's going to be it for us tonight. That scheduled, that schedule can be subjected to change. I don't think it will be, though. Uh, but I am sweating like a disgusting pig. I am going to head out of here. Once again, my name is Mon. If you'd like to follow me, you can check me out at twitter.com. NYJohn will be with you tomorrow if I'm not around. Uh, thanks for joining us. I'll see you guys later.